changing an FEP can be a time-consuming pain, but G2 Systems claim to have a cure for that. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, if you're into resin printing, then sooner or later, you'll have to change the liner. Now, over the years, I've had a lot of requests to show people how I do this, but I've always resisted as I think it's a topic well covered elsewhere. But today, I'll quickly go over this and then I'll move on to what G2 Systems claim to be a real game changer. This is a resin tray off an Elegoo 3 Saturn and you can probably see there's a nice little tear in the corner. I'm wearing gloves as there is always a little resin residue hiding in strange places, even around these tiny screws which, as you've guessed, all need to be removed and kept safely. There you go, you can see traces of resin there. With all the screws released, there's a small frame which should pop out. Again, there's plenty of residue knocking around, so now is a good time to do a little cleaning. To free the liner, there's even more screws to remove. This isn't difficult, but it is time consuming. With that done, the frame should separate and, of course, there's more cleaning to be done. You can now discard the old FEP sensibly, which in my case means throwing it over my neighbor's fence. And now, just to be different, more cleaning. This is an ACF liner, which I typically don't fit, but it's worth using at this point as some of these liners have to be fitted in a certain way. With an ACF liner, there's a matte side and a shiny side. When fitted, the matte side should face the light source. Here's the liner with the release film removed, and the blue blob you can see there is actually a small paper towel. I like to leave a little slack in the liner at this stage, though there's really no reason to do this. Personally, I just take a paper towel and fold this a few times, and it makes a nice squishy spacer. I've heard of people using bottle tops, ping pong balls, and all sorts of things, but in truth, there's no real need. You can fit these without any slack, but I personally prefer just a little. When I'm about halfway through replacing the screws, I remove the paper towel spacer. Just make sure there's no obvious creases in the liner and carry on. There you go, you can see there's just a tiny bit of slack in the liner thanks to the paper towel. Now this can be fixed back into the main plate. At this stage, don't fully tighten the screws. Just a few turns to make sure they're gripping. I like to start in the center and work outwards. Poking a small hole through the liner helps the screws get started easier. Once all the screws are in place, it's time to tighten them. Again, I like to begin in the center and alternate from side to side moving outwards. With everything fully tightened, take a sharp blade, or in my case, an allegedly sharp blade, and trim away the excess. And there you go, job done. If you have any spare parts left over, you've done it wrong, and if you have any missing screws, get on your hands and knees and find them. Otherwise, you should have a nice taut finish. You might get a few little bits of plastic that just need brushing away, but that's it. It's certainly not a difficult job, but with all those screws, it is a time consuming one. All in all, this probably took me about half an hour. And even with a lot of experience, all those screws mean that it's never going to be a quick job. But G2 Systems have come up with a much, much quicker way. This is the strangely named Hoopat X3, which is a perfect match for my Eligoo Saturn 3. Inside the box, we can find some release liners, some instructions that I'll ignore because I'm stupid, and a very sexy looking build plate. There's something very appealing about its appearance to me. It's sturdy metal construction, and in my mind, it has a sci-fi feel to it. I guess I've watched too much Star Trek over the years, there's no screws, just metal clips. 
and these are released by a lever on each side. Being spring loaded, they are a little stiff. And here's the inner frame that supports the liner. On one side, we can see the legs that position the tray on the printer. And on the other, a rows of pegs or teeth, which replace the need for all those nasty screws. Now again, this is an ACF liner, though Chi2 Systems offer PFA liners as an alternative. So with the release film removed, it's just a matter of aligning the holes with the pegs. I'm just taking my time to push each one home. Now I just need to position the clips. Well, that was surprisingly easy and quick to do. And listen to this. That's a nice taut job. I had no real expectations when this arrived, but I have to say, I'm really quite impressed with it. It's a great looking tray, but it's solidly built and it should easily last as long as the printer. It has a great pouring spout and it fits the Elegoo Saturn III perfectly. It even comes with a tray cover to keep your resin fresh. But above all, it really did make quick work of liner changing. It took me, what, two or three minutes to do, as opposed to half an hour with a typical method. Even if we throw in a little cleaning time, which will no doubt be needed, that's still impressive. And I've no doubt that will be a big time-saving bonus for print farms. Currently, Chi2 Systems only has three sizes available, the X3, X4 and X5 though these are compatible with a reasonable range of printers. This is a new product and only available on pre-order right now, but they are looking to extend their range. Cleverly, they've released a simple order-free questionnaire, which I've linked to in the description. If you like the look of this product, but there's not one available for your printer, then tag your model and post it. It certainly can't hurt. When it comes to the price, it's not the cheapest product I've seen, at roughly 70 US dollars. But Chi2 Systems described the product as effortless installation and built to last. And from what I've seen, those are pretty fair statements. When it comes to ordering, the VAT is supplied without liner. So remember to select your choice of either PFA or ACF, which unfortunately will increase your shopping bill. However, if you use the link in the description, at the checkout, you can enter the discount code VOGMAN and get 5% off your bill. Plus your old mate VOGMAN will get a few pennies as it is an affiliate link. I do genuinely like this system and it's much, much faster to use than the conventional liner replacement. And it certainly seems to produce a consistent taut result. How these will hold up long term, I obviously can't say, but there's nothing here that would worry me. The price may be a turn off for some, and I can certainly appreciate that, but I suspect there will be others out there that will relish the simplicity and convenience this offers. Personally, I like it so much that I'd like to see this system incorporated in all new resin printers, but obviously that's not something that I can influence. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below the video. So take care guys and thanks for watching.